Hey guys, I'm doing a, uh, actually I'm, I'm redoing the uh, window part that I kind of messed up in the last one. And uh, a couple of things, I, I mistakenly thought that the uh, plugin did some extra settings that we needed. So uh, also, and I neglected, I, I mean, I, I, I did a top down UV, which will work, but to make it look good, there's some other things we should do. So anyway, uh, to get started, uh, I, I brought in the old uh, glass, and uh, or from the original model, and and you know deleted the uh, ones that I had already done, because as you can see, like this one is already done. So we'll start over. And uh, there are some settings in here that we need to change. But first, we need to set this because if we don't, it'll change those back. In other words, you have to do this first. So we want to set this to windshield. We're doing a windshield. It'd be the same with glass, only use glass. Uh, and then the alpha will set to 01.01. Uh, or up to 0 0.05. I've seen both. The uh, SDK says 01, but I like 05. And that's that's kind of where I stopped the last time. It gives you a visible glass, but it's it doesn't look good in game. It, it's uh, it also it has a uh, I mean, a very etched look, like you in bathroom glass or something. Now the other one, and here's where I thought I oh the other one, uh, the plugin actually changes this from 0.05, but it still doesn't change this one. And again, uh, I, I think the SDK says uh, zero. I've seen common 0.01 to 0.05. I'm gonna go 0.01 just for fun. Now let's go 0.05, same as we did on the alpha. Keep it simple. And that 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 will that will give us good clear glass, and it will uh, allow us to have the uh, occlude the the rain effect. Now the difference. Uh, let's see. Now the other thing that I did and and that that should be corrected is I just made a a UV from straight down of all the glass and uh, let's redo it and I'll show you exactly what we need to do first let's get out of here just the glass uh, can I even get in there and get it okay now we got all the glass and from here we uh, UV where am I oh tab A to make sure we're all selected and then go UV project from view. Okay, and that's great. And then I stretch this out some, which is, is again, very cool. Uh, but it, it, it's not, let's see, let's leave that out of here. Huh? But it, it's not everything that you should do. If you look at that, uh, you know, the, uh, the image that's on that SDK uh, page I linked, you'll, you'll see a good example of how the rain is actually going to splash or wash over this, this thing. So we want to spread these out basically like they're almost flat. To do that, I'll select any dot. See how the front window is kind of nice and splayed out there, like if rain were to drop and hit it would it would hit flat like it's supposed to all right here i'll just i'll click any dot on any one of these let's start with these control l to select them all and i'll move it over here now is what i'm just going to do is i'm going to i'm going to splay it out this way and, and basically is what i want to do i see the side of that you know the ratio like how long it is this way and how, i want to make it about that same size And, and and we can enlarge any one of these 
further, well, control L to select it all. And the same thing, we'll, we'll stretch this one out. Of course, we'll stretch it out the other way. And make it relative to that uh, ratio there. And we'll do that with all of them. That's what this does is it prevents it from uh, you getting, if you look at them, I think I'm, maybe I am going the wrong way. Yeah, I don't guess it matters. <laughs> It prevents them from having this uh, really odd looking. Wow, well, that one didn't. Right, I did something, something odd with that one. Oh yeah. That's what I should have had. Control L. And that's, I mean, I'm not doing a very good job. So, you know, you, you would definitely want to do a, a more even job and a better job than I'm doing. I'm just kind of, and we could even stretch these out, uh, you know, more. I get a little bit bigger. You know, get these out. But, and, and that will, that will make the raindrops look a lot more, uh, Realistic. So anyway, that was that's the idea. I just wanted to show show everyone that that you really should uh, do a little UV work. And when you get done, this doesn't have to be saved to a file or anything. Just file, save, and then you're you're done with the glass. Now we can. Uh, oh. Tab is the one I was looking for. Now we can get out of that. And uh, yeah, now now that glass will have a, a much better visual effect with the rain effects, etc. and so on. Uh, but the UV spreading and, and the setting, uh, the roughness setting, is the one I missed. And, and they're both kind of critical for the glass. So here we go. That's that's why I figured it it was worth me redoing this, and you know, hope it hope it wasn't too much of an inconvenience. I'll see you soon.